What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Dathan, a.k.a. the Brown Llama from the Wink and Gentleman Society. And we just put together a quick tutorial here for you to show you how to use the snipping tool. Uh, if you need to take screenshots, there's a much better way than using the old-fashioned, outdated print screen button. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And then I'm going to show you how to drag and drop so that you can go ahead and send that file out. All right. And what you want to do is go to your start menu start typing in snip you can put in s and you'll it'll bring up all your s apps but you type in snip and you'll see the old snipping tool there uh, which i think is going to be deprecated and it's going to change to the snip and sketch with the latest windows 10 update go ahead and start that you can hit Control n to start a new one or just click new and you'll see that your screen will dim out that means your screen is ready for you to show it exactly what you want to capture now this tool here is like the free draw so you can just kind of make whatever shape you need uh, traditionally, you'll just use this rectangular marquee tool. All you do is drag and highlight what you want to share from your desktop. You'll see it light up and voila, you just created a quick snippet of a screenshot from your desktop. Then you also have your options here where you can choose the color of the pen if you need to highlight certain things. So maybe I want you to pay attention to that so I can draw around that or you can use the pen and then you also have a highlighter just in case you want to highlight something and let them know, hey, pay attention to this. So there's a couple of ways to highlight the information you want them to see from your screenshot. Now, if you don't want any of this or you accidentally highlight the wrong thing, no problem. Go up here to your eraser, click where you highlight it and that goes away and you're all set. And maybe that's too much information. So let's hit the crop tool real quick and we'll crop it down. Maybe we only want to send that much. Go ahead and hit the check mark for OK to apply. And voila, you just made a screenshot and it didn't take forever and you didn't have to use your entire desktop. So you can also use a open file if you want to open a specific file that you want to send to someone. So I'm going to use this picture of my boy Fletcher played by the great John Sally. We'll take that. Let's highlight this to show how thick his glasses are. You hit the save icon and now we just save the screenshot that we can just leave right here on the desktop. Uh, let's hit no because I don't want to replace that one. So let's put just some random number in there. So it's a different file name, hit okay. And there you go, you just created a screenshot off of your desktop and you didn't have to use your entire print screen option. All right, and another thing you can do is hit this copy, the control C, so you can copy it like a normal file, go into your favorite document program. So let's open up Microsoft Word, hit control V to paste it, just like that. Now, another thing you can do, let's snap this window over here to the side. Let's minimize that. Let's take this. Uh, you can drag and drop those same screenshots or pretty much any document or image. Drag it, release it, and voila. You just drag it into the program, release it, and that's a way to set up that new screenshot if you need to insert it into a document. If you need to send this document as an email, open up your favorite email client, and I'll show you here with two different ones. I'm gonna use Yahoo, and I'll also show you in Gmail. A lot of people don't know that you can do this. Instead of clicking the traditional paperclip icon here and browsing through your file system, you can just drag the item you want, bring it into your email client, and you'll see it light up with the blue marquee there. Release it, and voila, you just added the attachment. So here, let's add this other one here so they can see before our modifications. Now, that's using Yahoo Mail. It works the same way in your Gmail. So here, I'll show you real quick here in Gmail. And this is using Microsoft Edge. So here, let's open this up a little bit. Let's go compose for a new email. So we got the same thing here. We got the subject to all that good stuff. I don't know who those people are and what that ad is. Drag and drop. You'll see it light up and it'll say drop files here. Just let go of the mouse and that is your attachment included in your email. So again, you don't have to hit the paper clip and start browsing through all your files. Put a copy of it on your desktop or somewhere that's easily accessible. Drag and drop it into your favorite email client and send it away. So we can get rid of that. And like I said, it works the same way with Microsoft Word and plenty of other uh, applications or documents. You could just drag things over. So let's say uh, if I wanna send these job notes here, just drag it over, let it go, and voila. You just attach that to the email without having to go search for it forever. Well, there you go. That's how you use the snipping tool to take a quick shot of your desktop. So I'll show you that one more time before we get out of here and hit new. Now you see it's dim. I'm gonna highlight what I wanna send it's gonna light up and voila, we have this totally new desktop screenshot that we can send out, highlight it, email it, whatever you need to do. So now you know a quick way to do that. Thank you for watching this quickie from the Wink and Gentleman Society. Have a great day.